Today, an apparent stunning admission by former President Trump. In a press release, Donald Trump stating that he wanted former Vice President Mike Pence to overturn the election. It looks like Mike Pence finally grew a pair. The former vice president has denounced one of Donald Trump's core arguments concerning the 2020 presidential election. Welcome into TYT Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. In his speech before the Federalist Society on Friday, Mike Pence finally addressed the events underlying January 6th as it concerns his ability to overturn the election. The former VP unequivocally stated, But there are those in our party who believe that as the presiding officer over the joint session of Congress, that I possess unilateral authority to reject electoral college votes. And I heard this week that President Trump said I had the right to overturn the election. But President Trump is wrong. I had no right to overturn the election. The presidency belongs to the American people and the American people alone. And frankly, there is no idea more un-American than the notion that any one person could choose the American president. Wow, Mike Pence finally spoke up. And it's only been, what, 13 months since there was a siege on the Capitol by Trump's minions and the former vice president's life was in danger? Yet only now, after having survived the 1-6 attacks, has Pence mustered the courage to simply state the fact that he could not have overturned the election. Why do you think Pence finally mustered the courage to actually say something? Do you think maybe Mother finally gave her approval? Perhaps Pence isn't afraid of Trump anymore. Or maybe what Pence next shed some light on kind of tells us something. Under the Constitution, I had no right to change the outcome of our election. And Kamala Harris will have no right to overturn the election when we beat them in 2024. Ah, that's right. If under Trump's theory the VP can overturn the election, then Vice President Harris would have the power to refuse to certify the 2024 presidential election results. Yeah, I guess basic logic would discourage Republicans from pushing Trump's narrative about Pence having the power to ignore the election results. I appreciate that Pence issued this explicit rebuke and cutting off Trump at the knees is nice. At the same time, it took him... 13 months to get here, and this was an attempted coup that put his life in jeopardy. Pence gets no points from me whatsoever when it comes to finally getting the courage to just state a simple fact in the face of fascism. With Pence stating the facts, how long do you think until Trump strikes back? We know Trump does not like folks standing up to him, especially publicly. Reportedly this weekend, the former president will be at the mic, per Occupy Democrats, Mar-a-Lago's members are sent a notification warning them that Donald Trump will be the disc jockey for their dinners this weekend, with promises that it will be lots of fun and the music will be amazing. Retweet with what you think Trump's DJ name should be. If this is correct, brace for some wild iPhone footage to drop on Monday. In the meantime, what do you think Trump's DJ name should be? You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.